It was an RV nightmare. The scariest thing that ever happened to me in my RV coming up right now. Hey there, how are you doing? Dr. Dave, the RV dummy, what's going on? Got a great one for you today. I'm gonna to tell you a story. It's, it's like unbelievable what happened to me in my RV. Before I do, give me do me a favor. Um, Give me a like if you can right away before we get started because I know you're going to not only like, but you're gonna love this video and it really does help the channel if we get some likes ahead of time. So greatly appreciate it. Let me tell you the story. So this was my first RV ever. I knew almost nothing about RVing, but we got this. We found it online. We got, And okay, so um, we loved it. It's, it was a Class B. It was a leisure travel uh, built on a Dodge Ram chassis and we just loved everything about it it was a little bit older so uh, yoko my wife and i had to put some things into it we had to make some improvements i put a really nice audio system into it we put new shocks new tires it was just we really put some money into this and it was our baby we loved it and um one of the things i did actually i had my audio guy my, my stereo guy um hook up the new audio system in a way that it goes over to the coach battery. So I had a switch. So when we're driving the rig, it's on the regular chassis battery. But then when we're, we pull into a campground or we're boondocking somewhere and, and there's no electricity, um, I'm able, we're able to listen to uh, music, good music, by using the coach battery, which was really pretty cool little thing he rigged up for me there. So. Um, after some time, I had some, it was a little bit older, and I had some trouble with the um, coach batteries, actually. And I went to a very reputable battery shop about 10 miles away from where we lived to, um, to have them check out the coach batteries. And they did the testing on them, and they said, looks like they're, um, they need to be replaced, which I totally trusted this place. It was, as I said, it was a reputable battery shop. They do boats, they do cars, they do RVs, they do buses. They, they really knew what they were doing. At least I thought they did. So um, we agreed on a price for two, uh, you know, two coach batteries, and they started working on it. And I'm kind of hanging around because they said it would only take maybe 30 minutes or something like that to swap the batteries out. So I'm there hanging around and I'm making some calls and I'm checking things on my phone. And I needed after about 10 or 15 minutes, I needed to get into my rig to get something from the front seat. And as I open up the front door of my rig. Um, this was bizarre, but flames and smoke were coming out from underneath the dash. And I, I opened up the front and I see smoke and flames and fire. And I'm thinking to myself, this is really crazy. What's going on? So I yelled to the guy that was changing my batteries. I said, hey, come here. You, we have an emergency over here. He came over and luckily they had a fire extinguisher, which he sprayed the whole thing and just, um, messed up the entire inside of the van, but it, the whole dash and floor, it, it, everything just was burnt to hell. It looked horrible. It smelled horrible. It was a total, total disaster. I did not know what to do. I practically started crying. I mean, I, I, I really didn't know what to do. This was my rig. This was my first RV. We had it for probably um, less than a year, less than a year. And it burnt to the ground almost. I say that metaphorically speaking because it, it, I knew that this thing was going to be very difficult to uh, to fix up to, to at least to, to my standards. It was just, oh my god, it was it was crazy. So um, the owner of the shop came over. He said he didn't. They didn't know what happened, but he said he was going to take care of it. And to make a long story short, they took it to some RV repair facility and um, they got insurance involved and insurance ended up totaling the thing. They said it would, there are too many uncertainties and it would take too much to fix this thing. So they totaled it and they gave me a check for um, the value of it, which was very fair, by the way. But this was a nightmare. Uh, when when after, after the fire, when I had to call my wife, Yoko, at home and tell her what happened and ask her to please come pick me up, I, literally, I was crying and I had, think I had a nightmare that night and the next night. Just, we poured our not only money into this, but our hearts and our souls. And we've had a year's worth of memories 
and we loved this rig as, as old as it was. And it wasn't terribly old, but it was old enough and as quirky and as, as it was. And the th some things didn't work exactly the way we wanted them to. But we loved it because it was our first and we just tried to make it feel like our home. And then having this thing burn to the ground, it was a really, really, really horrible, horrible, weird feeling. Fast forward some time from then, as I said, we got an insurance check. Um, we were able to buy a new rig. Um, it was a new used rig, but we did our research. I think I've told you this in a previous video. And we have, we have right now we have a um, Pleasure Way Excel TS, which we absolutely love. But I wanted to share this story with you because a lot of times people ask me, what was the worst thing, the craziest thing, the scariest thing that ever happened to you in your RV? And I would, by far, by far, this is it. And, but the only thing is, I, I want to, before I leave you, I want to give you like kind of like a moral of the story. Because as devastated as I was that day that it burnt down, we had the fire. I, I thought like everything I put into this, all this time, my life, it was just, I thought it was ruined. It was just crazy. But I learned that as bad of a disaster, and I know there are things that are a lot worse. I mean, we have our health and we've got everything. So, but I know that, but it's still, this was a disaster to me and to Yoko. We actually had plans to go camping that weekend and we, and we were just so devastated. But as, as bad as anything feels or can be, or you think it is perceived to be, it seems like there's always a way to work it out and make it better in the future. And so I wanna share that with you because as horrible as the story of this was, we're now in our, basically our dream class B RV, our pleasure way, and we love it. And it is much nicer than the first one. We never thought we could get anything better, at least for that kind of money, but we found something that was um, that's just better and we, we love every single day in it. So knock on wood, we're not gonna have a problem with this one. We've had it for quite some time already and it's been fine to us. So I wanted to share that with you. It's just a little RV story, share with you for the holidays and, um, Again, thanks so much for being with me. I'm Dr. Dave. Thanks for being a viewer, a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber yet, by the way, what's stopping you? Press subscribe right there. Press it down. Uh, and I hope to see you um, very, very soon. Cheers. See you later.